Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Ricky coming to you from New Day Church as we continue talking about my father's house. This is session four, and I would encourage you to go back if you haven't uh, watched the other sessions, just so you know where we're at. Plus, in session two, I uh, give a, a really compelling story that I think would be very beneficial to some of your friends and family. You can go and share session two uh, with your friends and family. But let's jump right back into it. We're in Haggai chapter one, and we're still on verse seven and eight. Um, and right there, after the father tells the people to reflect on their ways and to consider their ways, then he directs them to work some things that he has, some assignments that he has. You know, I've found that this is one of the ways of God. It, it reminds me of the story of Elijah after he defeated the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. After this great and glorious victory in 1 Kings chapter 19, Elijah then does something that you don't expect if you've never read it before. He runs. He runs for his life. And he has an emotional breakdown after this incredible victory. I've always told people, especially young ministers, that after a great service or a great ministry time or a great victory, watch out for that downtime. That's exactly what happened to Elijah. And after running for 40 days and 40 nights on the strength that God gave him, he finally stops at, of all places, Mount Horeb, the mountain of God. And there God has him stop and reflect and Elijah talks and complains and then finally God sends this uh, horrific windstorm and rainstorm and thunderstorm and then all the Bible says is that God was in none of those things. He didn't speak to him in those things and then he speaks to him in a whisper. And in that whisper we would hope that God would come with some comforting thoughts and things like that, and he did. He told Elijah, you're not alone. You're not the only one. I have reserved hundreds and hundreds of prophets for me, and they're ready for you. And then after the encouragement, God gives Elijah an assignment, just like he did with the people of God here in our passage in Haggai. He comforts them, he directs them, and then he gives them an assignment. Most scholars agree that that assignment with Elijah took 20 years for him to fulfill, which brings us to a great point. Even in our failures, there is still a future. Even in our failures, there is still a future. You see, in the midst of pain, a purpose can arise. In the midst of pain, a purpose can arise. Though the world seems to be going out of control right now, we know God is still on his throne and he can take what the enemy has meant for evil and turn it around for our good, for the good of those who love him and are called according to what? His purposes. So today, this is what I want you to do. Take time and ask God, what are you saying to me in this crisis time? What are you saying to me right now, Father? Because he is speaking, if we would just listen. Then he said to his people, go up into the mountains. In Haggai chapter 1, verse 8, he said, go up into the mountains. You see, they had been in the valley so long that he wanted them to change their perspective. Right now, more than ever, we need a shift of perspective. You know, I saw a funny meme the other day from an evangelist friend of mine. On the top of the meme, it showed a picture, and it was of this family. And they were on their iPhones and their Nintendos and their iPads, and the caption read, before quarantine. Then it had another picture below that with this family out on their bikes with their little bicycle helmets and out in nature, and the caption read, during quarantine. <laughs> you know, that's so true right now, but it's really, really a good thought for all of us. Get outside, take a walk and pray. Take time that you would have spent commuting to work and start communing with God. Let me say that again. Take time that you would have been in commuting to work and start communing with God. Change your perspective during this time and let's ask God for those mountaintop experiences, changing our perspective what do you want us to do right now, God? What is your purpose in this pain? And what is the future you want us to fulfill even 
through this time of failure that has seemed to come. Let's ask God for that right now. Father, we pray that you would give us a new perspective, that you would show us your ways, that you would give us an assignment even during this time, Lord, and help us to touch our neighbors, to touch those we can come into contact with. God, touch those that we can call and email and get on social media with. God, give us a new assignment in this time. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We'll see you real soon. Don't forget, 1030 Sunday mornings right here on our Facebook page. God bless.